And off we go. A close game now entering the second quarter. Here is Bibby. Definitely for the Hawks, Clark. They were one of the best offensive teams in the NBA last season. Not because they shot especially well, but because they got more shots than their opponents. Quantity over quality was the approach for the Hawks. That extra volume, if you can overwhelm your opponent by rebounding on the offensive end, that can give you an advantage. So with Smith sitting on the bench, here's the group that Larry Drew has on the floor. Horford is out there with Josh Powell. Then it's Maurice Evans. Then it's Crawford and Bibby. Now let's check in with the third member of our crew, Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, who could have guessed the Grizzlies would play as well as they did last season? Zach Randolph was an all-star. The team was loaded with weapons. Coach Holland said to finally turn it around, make some noise, get the fans excited again, and have the media talking about us was important. That's what you want as an organization. Guys, we'll see if this season they can take that next step. Let's hope so. Thanks, Doris. So it's Memphis now. After the miss from Crawford. Randolph inside. Powell on him. From the wing. Randolph can't hit. And so here is Atlanta. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Memphis. There were no surprises in the series last season. Beating these guys pretty soundly both games. And here we go with O.J. Mayo. And he slams it home. Here's the replay on the Sprite Slam Cam. Great D leads to easy offense. Here's Mayo. Pass to Randall. And closing the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. People thought the Grizzlies made a mistake in acquiring Randolph, but it proved to be the exact opposite. Yeah, and I think Zach Randolph played with the chip on his shoulder. He worked hard, kept his name out of the paper for the wrong reasons, and made the all-star team. And Clark Randolph helped lift the Grizzlies to their best season in years. Yeah, and you know, the Grizzlies have some promising young talent. The question is, can they take the next step? Here's Horford. Here's Evans. Can't hit the three-pointer. Outside Mayo, and Crawford picks him up defensively. Crawford against Mayo. From about 19 feet, kept alive. Here's the beat. Buries the short-range shot. And the Grizzlies lead by two. Nice. Big momentum builders, those second-chance points. And stolen by Mayo. Bibby covering. Randolph backs in. The shot, no good. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Here's Bibby. Atlanta again, missing. So it's Memphis now. Only given up two points this quarter. And Young kicks to Mayo. Carroll guarded by Crawford. Pass to Randolph. Dumps it off. Intercepted. Nice anticipation right there to snatch that one. Crawford guarded by Mayo. Fouled as he went up and he'll go to the line. Here's what Memphis has lined up on their schedule. They'll be taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. And that'll be game one of a four-game road trip. And that one misses. Jamal Crawford, the sixth man of the year last season. A nice piece of hardware for him in what was a spectacular year. Yeah, he had perhaps the best season of his career. He improved his shooting percentages, and that was always a problem for him because his shot selection dragged it down. And then he also was on a playoff team for the first time. So both teams changing it up here. Crawford against Gay. Connects from 13 feet out. Gay's got 14. Great awareness makes him a dangerous threat every time down the floor. 
Crawford outside. Crawford against Mayo. And off against Smith. Can't put an end to the scoring drought. Well, it's obvious they've definitely come out ahead when it comes to rebounding in this particular contest. Boxing out, good positioning, and then pursuing the pump. And those rebounds, Clark, are talking about they're creating opportunities for them, and it's still a close game. Yeah, it sure is, Kevin. That's right. It is a close game. This game is a lot closer than it should be, but I still think they need to step it up on the offensive end of the floor. Here's Mayo following the bucket by the Hawks. Back to game. Here's Randolph. Crawford with the rebound. How much better a look do you need? Good mid-range shooter. Should have been money in the bank. The shot's good from Evan. Yes, Great pass into the lane. They'll take that one every time. Mayo against Crawford. Tipped up and in. Randolph's got 11. He never gives up on a missed shot. He feels like every one is his, and that tip-in paid off for him. Evans, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. And here's what's up coming now for the Hawks. After this one, they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Memphis leading. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Here's Mayo. Outside, Randolph. Four on the clock. With one second left. Again, Mayo missing. Really not enough defensive pressure there to force that miss. He's got to be disappointed. Evans picks him up. Evans against Mayo. Tipped. He just lost another one, Kevin. I mean, he's really having a difficult time seeing the defense here. Oh! oh, oh. That's a nice finish in transition, partner. That's exactly how you run the break. Here's Mayo. Just over six minutes left in the second. And Crawford picks him up defensively. Randolph backs in. Over Smith. So both teams making some changes here. Here's Allen. Five on the clock. He dumps it off. Here's Gay. Kept alive. Gasol. Great D that time from Johnson. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. And he dunks that one through. When he gets it going like this, you got to double team it. That's your only hope. Here's Allen. Williams picks him up. Law, Bibby covering. Gasol. Allen, right side, just four to shoot. Goes up, laid in softly off the glass. Allen's got his second bucket of the night. No one really contested him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And I love the unselfishness. It's a joy to watch. Johnson kicks to Bibby. And it's Rudy Gay with the rebound. And here are the Grizzlies with it. The Grizzlies almost a 500 team last season, Clark. And they fattened up on wins against the Eastern Conference at 18 and 12 in interconference play. And that's the start of developing when you're a young team, beating the teams you should be able to beat. To Horford. Arthur's there. Takes it up. And there's Mike Bibby on the assist by Horford. Bibby's got his second basket of the game. Memphis trailing here. Clark, the, the Grizzlies, one of those young, precocious teams that can catch you off guard if you don't come prepared. Yeah, they've got a lot of talent. I mean, you look at Zach Randolph, 
and Rudy Gay, those guys can put the ball in the basket. They're not world beaters, but against the East, they've got to be respected. Allen inside, Bibby covering. Allen, that's good. You don't have to worry about him leading the team in scoring, but he will find ways to get involved on the offensive end. Back to Williams. Well, while we have a second, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a list of the league's top shooters from last season. Well, you look at Gasol, fourth in the league and as consistent as they come. You know, nobody said this guy couldn't miss last season. And because he was such a good percentage shooter, one of the best in the league, his teammates always were looking for him. Smith dishes to Horford. Baseline jumper. A little long, but it goes in. Horford's got his first two points of the night. It's a close game here in Memphis. Back to Gay. Pass to Allen. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. One thing we remember about Atlanta last season, the Hawks grabbed the three seed in the Eastern Conference but they had some issues on the road. Yeah, only 19 wins compared to 22 losses away from home. Uh, they had similar numbers to that last, the season prior as well, and that's one of the things that can maybe hold them back from being a team that advances deep into the playoffs. Let's go to our great sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for an update. Doris? Hey, Kevin, ever since he entered the NBA, Joe Johnson has been such an effortless scorer. Vince Carter said he's one of the smoothest guys in the league. He plays very slow and deliberate, but it's hard as heck to guard him. Vince Sanity, a tough check, says he about Joe Johnson, guys. Johnson's certainly a respected player league-wide. Thank you, Doris. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Randolph. Makes it from 18 feet out. Randolph's got 13 points. Going back to the Hawks' road play, you saw the Rose kind of play them out of the playoffs. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. And we talked about that. When you're sub-500 on the road, even if you can get to over 50 wins, in the playoffs, you're going to have to win on the road to beat another good team. And then Gay with the jam. Oh, my word. Come on. That is so, so pretty. Wow. Turn that back to the basket and throw it down. Now we're seeing some really special moves out there. For three, Bibby kept alive. Here's Johnson. And, yep, that falls, and the foul is called. We'll see him shoot one from the free throw line. Tremendous output from Johnson. He's got 14 points, and they've got to be happy with his work on the glass, too. What touch he's got out there. He's hardly missed anything. Something about Joe Johnson, a huge guy for a wingman. He's 6'7", 240. But if his frame is a little intimidating on the court, his demeanor, Clark, is anything but. Every time I've encountered him, very low-key and soft-spoken, trying to stay away from the center of attention. Maybe kicks to Crawford. Behind the arc, can't hit. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. 2.08 left in the half. Young inside. Johnson on him. Young's shot is off. They'll allow him to get that off all day. On the wing, Jamal Crawford. Fades away. Nothing working for him here. He's just really struggling to find the basket. Here's Mayo. The Grizzlies with another miss. He hasn't been able to get on track here. Goes up. Johnson can't hit. You can't D up a layup any better than that. Nice work. Gay kicks to Mayo. And it's Johnson picking him up. Back to Gay. Hammers it in. Took advantage of a little bit of lax defense right there. Well, those chances are usually not going to go by the wayside. Johnson, the pass to Crawford. Back to Johnson. It's dumped off. Williams backs him down. Cannot hit. And it's Memphis the other way. Outside Mayo. Here's Young. And it's off. Questionable decision-making there. 
And it'll go the other way. The Hawks turn it over. The line's there for a reason, young fella. Stay in the game. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Hadati's checked in, and it's Arthur in for Sam Young. And then for Atlanta, Josh Smith, he's checked in for Williams. Evans comes in for Jamal Crawford. And it's Teague in for Mike Bibby. Here's Allen. And that's good, getting that one off the nice assist. Allen's got 11. The Hawks trail by five. Back to Orford. To the paint. With the teardrop, and no good. But close in that one, so he'll shoot two. Contact certainly altered that shot. The official was right on top of it. The first one falls. Boy, I really like the way he came out in the first quarter. Very aggressive, really focused and intense, and generated some nice opportunities. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Pass to Randolph. All alone. It's hauled in by Smith. And so here is Atlanta. Four-point game. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. A little miscommunication on that one. Both guys have to be on the same page when you're moving the ball around. Here's Mayo. With the floater, gets the whistle, and he'll go to the line. It's on Maurice Evans. And the first one drops. Boy, they're really making the defense pay here. They've made all of their free throws this quarter. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Had a miss on that trip, but still made this a two-possession lead. He can oh. Oh. Kicked it to the right guy at the right time. That's a good pass. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. How about the game for Rudy Gay? 18 points, and he's connected on two three-pointers here as well. That's a first half he can be proud of. Back in a moment for Memphis. Welcome to HP at the half. The NBA season is just getting underway. At the midway point, the Grizzlies are grinding it out. A fearsome defensive display so far. Looking at all those blocked shots just tells you everything you need to know about that first half. Rudy Gay, the top scorer, he's got 18 points and has gone to work on the glass, grabbing a few rebounds. A scrappy effort by Atlanta. Close range shots, their bread and butter early on, a gigantic lead in points in the paint. A solid performance by Joe Johnson. He's got 16 points. He's not missed many shots so far. Everything's falling. These two have both turned in some great first half basketball and both in line for big games if they keep it up. And that'll do it as the second half is about to start out at FedEx Forum. 